I'm always looking for versatile gear that works well in different setups. That's where this small monitor comes in, the funny named EYOYO Security Camera Monitor. At first glance, it may look like a security monitor, but don't be fooled. This 10.1 inch full HD display offers way more than you'd expect, and it's become an essential part of my studio setup and also a great second monitor for my retro computing projects. The YoYo monitor is compact and packed with inputs, making it perfect for various applications. Whether you're working with modern gear or retro systems, the monitors got you covered from legacy ports like BNC, VGA, and AV to modern HDMI and even a USB port. It's all here. Now, let's see what's included in the box. First up, you get the monitor itself, but you also get a handy stand for desktop use. It's okay, but I wouldn't count on it. It's a little wobbly sometimes, but at least it does include the option to adjust the monitor for different viewing angles. It comes with a VESA mount, which is great if you want to attach it to a wall or arm mount. Then you've got a full range of cables included, HDMI, VGA, AV cables, plus the power adapter and a BNC connector for CCTV setups. Basically, you're ready to plug into anything right out of the box. For those of you who love retro computing like I do, the legacy ports are a huge bonus. I've been using the VGA and AV inputs to connect this monitor to my old computers, and it works beautifully. The screen delivers a crisp, clear image at 1920 by 1200 resolution, making it perfect for retro gaming or working on legacy systems. Hey, but that's not all. The Yoyo monitor has found another permanent place in my studio as a secondary display for my ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. In multi-monitor mode, this screen gives me a clear view of all my inputs, making live production smoother. It's lightweight and compact, which means it fits right into my studio setup without taking up too much space, but large enough for me to keep an eye on things. Let's talk about the display. It's impressive for such a small form factor. You get full HD at 1920 by 1200, which is a little odd and does give me some vertical stretching when I use it with my ATEM Mini ISO, but works perfectly with my retro devices. Now, the screen also means you're not sacrificing any clarity despite its 10.1 inch size. Viewing angles are really good on the IPS display. And yes, it even has built-in speakers and a headphone jack, perfect for when you need a quick sound check. Now, when using the speakers, you're not gonna get any bass whatsoever, but plug in those headphones and the bass will return. But versatility is really where this monitor shines. You've got so many options for input, whether it's HDMI for your modern devices, VJ for retro computers, or even AV for those older setups. And unlike many of these inexpensive monitors, I can actually figure out the menuing system. The menus provide a comprehensive selection so that you can control this monitor for all of your setups. The included stand is, as I said, sturdy enough, but if you prefer, like I do, you can mount it using the VESA mount. There is a mount included, but I like to mount it to this pole using this third-party monitor mount. So is the Yoyo security camera monitor worth it? I think it is if you need a flexible, compact monitor that can handle both your retro systems and your modern gear. It's a solid addition to any workspace, and I love that it is surrounded by this all-metal case. And for me, it's become indispensable in my studio. It also make a great second monitor for a PC setup, such as a laptop or on-the-go monitor for your gaming machine, or as I said, your favorite retro computer. Now, before you go, let me show you something else that might catch your eye. Here's a mechanical keyboard that combines modern functionality with the classic design of the Commodore 64. Hey, Retro Combs out. See you next time.